Hi, this is Marius with the ERA and today we're going to show you how to upgrade or replace the RAM in your computer and how to upgrade or replace the hard drive in your computer. In this video we're going to show you how to upgrade the RAM and the hard drive in this Dell Latitude E5550. So let's power it on, press F2 to go into the BIOS. This is a larger screen model, very nice machine, 4th generation Intel processor. So we can see that there's 4 gigabytes of RAM there, we're going to add another 4. And then let's take a look at the hard drive. We've got a 500 gigabytes hard disk drive. We're going to upgrade that to an SSD to make this computer work a little faster. We're going to power this off, disconnect it, remove the back cover, remove all the visible screws, and using a small flathead screwdriver, we're going to insert it into this little notch and pop the back cover free. We don't want to break those little plastic tabs that's holding it into place. We're going to go gently an inch or two at a time all around until it's free, just like that. This has an internal battery, we're just going to disconnect it. We're going to pull this little cable right here, and there you go. This is the hard drive here, and, it's, and it has a caddy holding it into place. This is the RAM. So we're going to just add another 4 GB, gently insert the RAM stick into the empty socket, and then gently press down until it clicks. Now we're going to remove all the screws around the hard drive caddy and then we gently pull the hard drive out just like this. We're going to have to remove these screws to take it out of the caddy because we're going to reuse this caddy to put the new SSD. We have four screws. This is a very slim hard drive so we have to make sure we find a slim match. Otherwise the back panel will not close properly. Perfect, we have it right here. Using those four screws, we're gonna put the caddy back onto the SSD. Insert it the same way we did with the hard drive. We're gonna just secure it using one screw so we can test the machine before we close it up. So we're gonna reattach the internal battery. And now let's power it back on. F2 to go into the BIOS. We get the warning that the amount of memory has changed. We're gonna press F1 to continue. And here we are in the box. So we can see that we have a total of 8 GB of RAM, both slots are occupied. So we can see here that the condition of the battery is excellent and that it's charging properly. Getting back to the storage, we've installed a 128 GB solid state drive. So we have less storage on this machine now, but the solid state drive will make this computer work noticeably faster. So now we're going to get the rest of the screws on that caddy, we're going to button this up and that's that. And this concludes today's tutorial. Thanks! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and we'll have more tutorial videos for you soon.